Georgiana was once a happy girl. She was a prankster, life of the party, sportsman. She even owned an NSYNC CD and poster. Her friends called her Gibraltar. But now, on the eve of her 30th birthday, she considered the notion that she was tragically meant to live, to be, and love alone. Six months ago, Georgiana was focusing on her career as a novelist. After working five years as a mortgage lender, she decided it was time to go back to her roots. She had just survived another cold and vigorous Valentine's Day, or as she referred to it as Black Wednesday. Then one day on the treadmill, she met Bob. Bob was head and shoulders above others. He was an express mail carrier by day and personal trainer by night. Men emulated him, women threw themselves at him. But on this particular day, Bob noticed the unusually focused and sweaty Georgiana. Bob ate nine egg whites for breakfast. He did sit-ups in the mirror and had a secret addiction to fast food. Georgiana was in lust for him. I mean, she was in love with him. But Bob was a whirlwind. Some days he loved her deeply. Then on other days he wouldn't call her. He would often make plans, then break them. Georgiana confronted him but each time he escaped her wrath with his amazing bicep curl hugs. After seven walks in the park, four movie dates, 16 dinners, six church Sundays, and countless workout sessions, Bob arrived at her door on their would have been three month anniversary, and he calmly and steadily broke her heart. With no explanation or concern for her well-being, Bob walked back to his H2 Hummer and drove off into the sunset. He had broken a bigger sweat lifting an energy drink, or so Georgiana thought. She slowly walked back into her room and stayed there until now. Well, not the entire time. She did go to church and dragged herself to work, but her spark had fizzled. Him. 
But Georgiana was finally in love. The mention of his name made her insides ache. When she saw him at the gym, she would vomit. Before church, she would have panic attacks in the parking lot. Georgiana had slipped so far into her sadness that all voices merged. Her boss, her friends, and her family were all one voice. The only voice she heard was Bob. She only wanted to know. Why? Why does he want to love me? What's so wrong with me? The questions never ended. Bob was always on her mind. You are the only one I ever loved. Wishy-washy. Unfaithful. But Bob wasn't the only unfaithful one. Georgiana recognised her hairstylist shopping in the store. As she walked towards her, she noticed her other stylist shopping in the opposite end of the store. Georgiana quickly rolled away in the opposite direction in hopes of not being discovered. Her plan of two stylists had been ten months in the making. Deborah was good at maintaining perfect texture and movement and Lanisha was the best stylist. But her wicked plan had holes. Who trimmed your ends? Georgiana's heart was beating outside of her chest. The stylists were puzzled by her abrupt departure. In a panic to save her hair, Georgiana runs away and accidentally bumps into an attractive man dressed perfectly in red and khaki. She apologises. The man is Antoine, a master cosmetologist. Georgiana had escaped the danger of losing her stylists, but she couldn't shake the fact that she lost her bob.